Hello, it's Brick Bros UK. Remember to subscribe below or leave us a like on Facebook. We have the LEGO Series 14 minifigures 71010 Monsters. There's 16 minifigures in the series and they cost £2.49p in the UK each and $3.99 in the US each and will be releasing in all stores in September. We have all 16 minifigures in this pile and we have to say the packaging with its black, stormy, spooky background is cool with lime green on the back. Also, this is the first time LEGO have allocated a theme to a series so this could be the future of the LEGO series minifigures. Ok, now we will open and build all 16 minifigures and check them out. And here they are, all 16 Series 14 Monsters minifigures. Let's take a closer look. The Wolf Guy minifigure is the werewolf version of the Series 5 Lumberjack and has the same printed sand blue legs with wolf feet printing and torn effect and the same Lumberjack red check torso with werewolf headpiece and dark bluish grey clip-in tailpiece. The Wolf Guy also comes with a bone to chew on. Overall it has great detail and added extra tail piece. It's a great start to the series. Let's see the next minifigure. The zombie pirate minifigure has a wooden peg leg and printed legs and a dark red pirate torso with some zombie printing. It has a printed zombie pirate head with eye patch and has a dark bluish grey beard. The zombie pirate has a pirate captain hat and a pirate sword. Overall, the minifigure is cool because it's a zombie, but its accessories aren't new and it is a bit underwhelming. The monster scientist is even more mad than the series 4 crazy scientist with black and white printed legs and white and black printed lab coat torso. It also has a bearded scientist head and removable brainy headpiece with hair and goggles, giving the scientist an oversized head, which is excellent. The monster scientist has a chemical flask with pink liquid and fly printing, suggesting a monster experiment, which we will see in a minute. Overall, we love the monster scientist's super crazy look and unique headpiece. It's a very well made minifigure. The Wacky Witch minifigure has a Wizard of Oz witch look to her and has printed black and white legs and printed back and front purple torso. It has a green printed headpiece with brand new joined hair and hat piece. It also has a purple skirt piece and has a black cat and broomstick of course. Overall it's a solid minifigure with great accessories but it's what's expected if you're making a witch minifigure. The Plant Monster minifigure is one of the gems of the series with printed green plant legs and torso and it comes with a scared printed head. The Plant Monster has two vine accessories and really cool unique headpiece that looks like a Venus flytrap plant head. It's not actually being worn by the man you can see he sadly has been eaten or consumed by the plant monster, which is why he's so scared. Overall, the minifigure has great printing and the unique plant headpiece makes it a memorable minifigure and one you'll want in your collection. The fly monster minifigure has printed black legs and torso, but it's the large fly headpiece that stands out with its two large trans red eyes with great detail and two rubber antennas. Sadly, it's not a helmet, but it's a really great design. It also has a trans winglet piece and one red pincer. Two pincers might have looked better in our opinion, but
but overall it's a top minifigure with amazing headpiece and one you will always associate with the Monster series. The Spectre minifigure is a ghostly floating character with a trans grey ninjago ghost leg piece and grey torso. The white head doesn't have a very scary face, but the head does glow in the dark and we tested it. The Spectre has a grey hood and ghostly grey fabric cape or poncho and its accessory is a chain. Overall it's a well detailed ghostly figure and a welcome change from white. We do feel the face could have been more scary but it's glow in the dark head is a bonus. The zombie cheerleader minifigure has printed white legs with some zombie effect and green printed cheerleader torso with zombie effect. It has a female zombie head which is great because female zombies are few in number and it has a really cool new unique hairpiece with two ponytails which can be used on other minifigures and it of course has two pom poms. Overall it's a great design and as a female zombie will be highly collectible. The Tiger Woman minifigure is part of a touring circus troupe. She can tame tigers and other beasts dressed in her printed tiger legs and printed back and front tiger torso. Tiger Woman has a printed female head with tiger printing and ginger hair piece with tiger ears. Tiger Woman also has a tiger tail piece and black whip. Overall the tiger printing is excellent and a Tiger Woman would look great in a Lego City collection. The Gargoyle minifigure is a completely light grey coloured minifigure because it's a statue. It has light grey small legs and torso with stone effect printing and printed gargoyle head with stone effect. It also has a gargoyle headpiece which has lots of detail and again stone effect. The gargoyle has a new light grey wing piece that could be used on other minifigures. Overall it's a great little minifigure with excellent detail and could be added to stone buildings as a statue. The skeleton guy minifigure is the perfect trick or treat costume with excellent skeleton printed legs and torso back and front. Also the black head has a printed skeleton mask with string printed on. The skeleton guy comes with a new printed orange trick or treat pumpkin basket. Overall we like the minifigure being a costume but it should also be sought after with Halloween coming up. The monster rocker is Frankenstein back in rock form. It has Sam Blue printed rocker jeans and Sam Blue printed jean jacket with monster arms. It has an olive green monster head and Frankenstein headpiece. The monster rocker wouldn't be complete without his red electric guitar which has some good printing. Overall the monster rocker doesn't excite us but it does add a different monster to the series. The zombie businessman minifigure is just excellent. It has dark blue printed ripped legs and a dark blue ripped up suit torso. The zombie head has broken glasses and it has a dark brown hair piece. The zombie businessman has a black briefcase and a 2x2 two two printed newspaper tile zombie times with the headline brains. Overall this minifigure has an excellent printing and accessories and with the popularity of the series 1 zombie and zombies in general it should be really popular. The Banshee minifigure is a spirit or omen of death and has sand green and trans ninjago ghost legs with a sand green printed torso front and back. The Banshee has a sad crying face with a translucent hair piece. Overall it's a great scary design but does lack accessories. The square foot minifigure is basically Bigfoot and is the relative of the series 11 Yeti which has the same headpiece. It has reddish brown legs with printed toes and reddish brown torso and reddish brown and dark brown Yeti headpiece. Squarefoot is also equipped with a camera so it can take pictures of you for a change. 
Overall, it's a cool minifigure, but just a rerun of the Yeti. The Spider Lady minifigure looks great with lots going on. It has a black brick dress piece with printed on red spider web and white spiders. The black torso has printed on red spider web with one white spider. It also has a white head with fangs and a black hair piece with silver spider web printed on. The spider lady has a dual plastic cape with printed black web and is equipped with a red spider. Overall, it's a great addition to the Monster series with excellent detail and accessories. And that's our full analysis on all 16 LEGO Series 14 Monsters minifigures. Our favourite minifigures are Tiger Woman, Zombie Businessman, Fly Monster and Plant Monster. Please leave a comment on your favourite minifigure from the new series. You could use the Tiger Woman and make a custom cheetah DC villain or Fly Monster could be a superhero villain. Also you could use lots of the zombie businessmen to make a zombie horde and the Spectre could have a black head instead to make a custom Harry Potter Dementor. We really enjoyed reviewing all 16 LEGO Series 14 Monsters minifigures and we feel they would go really well with a new LEGO Scooby Doo set. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK opening and review of the new LEGO Series 14 Monsters minifigures. Like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.